Yeah, you're on a plastic stein mug stein. Yeah, we'll do that for this time. I need lights. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Please, Dear God, Don't Be a Bomb, because you people really want me to stick with that title, apparently. Uh, we have the most possibilities for boom bangs yet, with a lot of boxes, and a lot of them, surprisingly, don't feel like books to me. So we'll figure that out together. I'm gonna make the lighting a little bit better. There's a lot of packages here today. You know how I said, like, before I was kind of uncomfortable with all the packages people were sending me? I don't know how to accept gifts. Well, well, I better learn because more than ever, Daniel Green, Daniel Green, we're different people. It's not, we're not the same. This is beautifully wrapped. Hi, Daniel. This book was special to me as a kid. It helped shape me and taught me lessons that still apply to my life today. I know it's not fantasy. I don't. I would be honored if you would consider reading it. Maybe you'll get just as much out of it as I did, Potato. Thank you, Potato. I'm really excited to see what this is now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to troll, everybody poops is certainly the way to do it. Well done, my man. I was like feeling it. I was like, yeah, whatever potato wants, I'll read it. That meant a lot. Tune into the Twitch stream where I live read everybody poops. <laughs> I'm afraid this is making like an echo noise the mic is picking up, so I'm gonna change this to something else. All right, we're gonna go back to this. God damn, that was funny. The Rose Petal by C. Casrico. Daniel, this is my book that I self-published in February 2019. I found your channel and thought you might enjoy reading it. The Rose Petal is the first of five books. I love your genuine enthusiasm for literature. It's literally my life. Love your videos. Greeting from Vermont, Corinne. Corinne, 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 Corinne. Thank you so much. That's so nice. Oh, wow, this is, I love your cover. It's very pretty. Fire outlines. I dig it. Thank you so much. As always, I can't promise to get to things, but I always appreciate people sending stuff in and there is a possibility I'll get to anything sent to me because part of this year is going to be fan send in read year. Yeah. Orphans of Chaos by John C. Wright. Doop, doop, doop. Give me a note. Because we know that Daniel loves his notes. Hi, Daniel. Here's a very problematic fave of mine. It's metaphysical rock, paper, scissors, magic system. It's all my interests, and I hope you'll enjoy it too. However, writes a nut job, so avoid his website. Oh, man. <laughs> that was a mixed endorsement. Orphans of Chaos. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, it's, I love this book. Author's crazy, though. <laughs> Oh wow, an endorsement from Brandon Sanderson, an excellent fantasy debut. The Kingdom of Liars by Nick Martell. Hi Daniel, I've been watching your channel for a while this fall. Subscriber Joe Mtzis, uh, and find your take on fantasy refreshing and enjoyable. I find your letter refreshing and enjoyable. Dashes of Scott Lynch, Robin Hobb, and Mark Lawrence in there. You are going right up my alley, man. I hope you get a chance to read it, and if you enjoy it, discuss it on your channel, as it would be a great boost for a young writer like Nick. Happy New Year to you and your family. Oh, thank you so much, Joe. If you've got a Brandon Sanderson recommendation, that's that's already... Okay, I can't read all that out, in the, but this is definitely one that'll be... Up for consideration for the fans, fan recommendation month or a couple months or whatever I decide to do. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for that. And I hope to get to Nick's book, uh, Beasts Beneath the Flesh, book one, Eye of the Serpent. I have no notes, but I have book one, <laughs> Beasts Beneath the Flesh, Eye of the Serpent with angry uh, loincloth chick with dragon tail attacking man with large crotch bulge. It's a fascinating, ooh, and a, and a moon that has a red spot. I'm interested in this. Oh, I don't think, this one has a broken moon. So there's a theme of moons so far. We got a broken moon right there. Okay, interesting. Interesting. Okay, whoever sent me this, we have no note, but we have a sci-fi book that's endorsed by Guess It, 321, George R.R. R. Martin, by James S.A. Corey. You know he's successful because his name's bigger than the title. Leviathan Wakes, oh yeah. My bad. The Expanse, a major TV series. Yeah, this is the first in um, The Expanse. So I've been planning on reading this. Luckily, I didn't buy it yet. So you saved me a trip. I'm hoping in 2019 to also get to a lot more sci-fi. And this right here is the planned first attempt. So thank you. You just saved me going to the bookstore and buying this. Thank you very much. Even though you didn't. Give me a note. 
You might enjoy this book. It's considered the best hard sci-fi book of the last decade or two. It's definitely a return to big idea sci-fi as well, but in modern sci-fi writing. I prefer not to use my name, anonymity issues. Okay, I'm going to assume that you're Tom Hanks. And Tom Hanks has sent me The Quantum Thief. So thank you, Tom Hanks. I really appreciate that. I've definitely heard of Qu The Quantum Thief. Um, the claim that it's the best hard sci-fi of the last decade is, is, a, is a bold claim. And this one will have high priority this year because I do want to get to more sci-fi and I believe this is a sci-fi book. And thank you for using a note. This one is covered in cats. Pips! I have no idea where he is, but I will... I'll show him your cat duck tape. No, no. Ah, uh, ooh, it's signed by the author, Megan Tennant. Very pretty. Got a flower in the middle with some, some leaves and greenery. It's called Alethia, and it's by Megan Tennant. Yep, I said her name right. Hey, Neil, first off, congrats on your subs. That's so exciting. You clearly deserve it with how much time and dedication you put into your channel. Can't wait for 200K. Thank you. I can't either. Which I'm sure, which by the way, YouTube is supposed to get in touch with me at 100K. Still hasn't happened. It's been like three weeks, two weeks, some, some amount of time. No word from YouTube. I'd like to hear from them. It'd be nice to get that plaque, because apparently you have to request it after a representative gets in touch with you, but they have yet to get in touch with me. I'm waiting. I just really discovered your channel. I'm enjoying exploring your impressive backlog content. I saw you recently posted a review, a book review, a reviewing a book written by uh, a friend of mine, uh, ML Wang. Hey, her book is amazing. Overjoyed because it's so rare to find larger channels that give any books a shot. Yeah, that review did like really well for me as well. So I'm happy all around with that review. And hey, if more indie book reviews do that well for me, I'll certainly be doing more of them. I know your style is more on the fantasy side, but I saw you also explore sci-fi. So I wanted to send you a copy of my post-apocalyptic dystopian sci-fi novel. It's it has never Consider it. Thank you for giving indie book a shot. Oh, thank you so much, Megan. That was really 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 nice and I uh, enjoy dystopians as well so that is that's on on the potential TBR list I'm gonna make my recycling people so angry with how many packages I always fill my recycling thing with dear Daniel I know you get a lot this is a tiny and my favorite book from 2019 it's only book one I hope you read it and send G Yang the black tides of heaven I have been on the Eastern fantasy kick recently beautiful Cover. I really like that. Hyper stylized, neat Eastern inspired art. I want you guys to know part of the way I decide which books to read is like I pick up a, uh, a book and I'll read the first like 20, 30, 40 pages. This is what I've been doing recently. And if it hooks me, if it grabs me, I'll finish it. And I think that's why like I've been more positive with books in general recently is because I pick up books and only if they really grip me do I go ahead and finish them. I feel like that might be bad practice because it means I'm doing not as many negative book reviews and that's still a thing I need to be doing and paying attention to is like saying what's bad too. So I don't know, I might be changing that up, but it does mean I also get to more books and kind of actually explore a bit more from different things and I'm able to like, I don't know, it is, things will change. We have another book here and apparently I accidentally ripped the, uh, the note in half, my bad. In my defense, in my defense of ripping the note in half, uh, it was like literally in the seal, like stuck in the seal of the package. So that's my bad. Oh man, I really messed this up. The Unwanted by Lisa McMahon. It's an amazing mid-grade series with lovable characters and an interesting soft magic system. Thanks for everything. Awesome. Let me go ahead and show you. It's got uh, what looks like a bronze lion with wings flying at you. Boom, cow. <laughs> lion. Got kids in the cover. You know it's middle grade when you got kids in the cover. <clears throat> Thank you so much. I appreciate it and I appreciate you. There's a package in a package. What the hell? And another package. There's, there's three packages here. What is happening right now? This is why the world is dying. Okay, we have a bit of a mystery here. Um, I don't have a note and it's a book by Matthew Jarpy. Radio Fair... Radio Freefall. It's got a really interesting cover, definitely more sci-fi. I like how we're continuing on the sci-fi train here a little bit, um, but I can't really see much or anything about it, so thank you. I'll look into this one a bit more on my own time, because we have a, oh wow, there's like a, there's a vague print on the cover that says Radio Freefall across. That's interesting. I'll look into that more on my own, because I'm weirdly fascinated by that package. The fact it was wrapped so much makes me think like I just got national treasured. <laughs> I love this series. Hi, Daniel. Enjoy your channel. This is a fantastic. I love that you enjoy my channel. 
but apparently you haven't searched it well enough because I've reviewed all of these on my channel. I did it years ago because I love We Are Legion, We Are Bob, and Bobverse. I even have a Why You Should Read Bobverse on my channel card right now, and I think it's one of the best sci-fi series currently being written or of the modern genre. You know what I mean? So thank you for sending this because I don't have a physical copy. I listen to them on Audible, which they are fantastic audiobooks, but thank you for this. I love this series. Oh, wonderful. Thank you. Beautiful. And yes, we are Legion. We are Bob. Okay, so we're through like the Amazon bags. And now we're getting to the real packages here. I'm gonna go insane eventually with this. But uh, we have our boxes. Let's get into the uh, unboxing boxes. Not bad. Another copy of Beast Beneath the Flesh in the exact same box with the exact same everything. Did you mean to send me two or did the shipper accidentally send me two? Because it has the same return and everything. I'm. I'm startled. But yeah, woman with tail again. I'm mildly confused. I'll give one of those to my local library and the other one I will keep for the shelf. Thank you so much. Much appreciated. Boxing person who accidentally sent two, I guess maybe? Well, there's no note, but it says, Yoda best, Daniel. And that's, that's adorable. It's got baby Yoda on it. That's so friggin' cute. Actually, I'll wash this right now so I can use it for my tomorrow cup of coffee. Scythe, uh, very popular I know, it has sold a lot of copies, but I've heard good and bad, positive and negative. Uh, definitely one I'm interested in checking out. There's a note, let me check out the note. Hi Daniel, read the first line of the first page, and if you aren't completely lost in the world, then donate it. Otherwise, be prepared to lose an afternoon. That's a, that's a challenge I'll take you up on right now. Okay, first line of the first page just says, no, I'm kidding, okay. We must, by law, Keep a record of the innocents we kill. Do you want me to read the first line of chapter one? Or the first line of like, okay, the first line of chapter one is the scythe arrived late on a cold November afternoon. Okay, so I know they have our month naming system. What can I say? I'm in. You know what, I'm keeping this. This is a nice little way to hold my mic. Using a bread knife for the rest. More Nutella. I'm on a diet right now because of some recent diagnoses. So um, physically cannot eat this without medical problems, but it will go on the shelf alongside the other jar of Nutella. From Cynthia Long. Hey, Cynthia. How's it going? Oh, Stephen King on writing. I literally almost bought this the other day at Barnes and Noble, but I was like, I'll never live up to King. I, I, don't, I don't, don't read it, but now I have it. And I'll probably put this by my bedside table and read it to help me go to sleep at night and, you know, make me more anxious about my writing and how I'll never write anything that goes to Stephen King. But that's how my brain works. Thank you, Cynthia. That was wonderful. Weird how often I'm about to get stuff, decide not to, and then people send me this. Probably because I consider buying stuff all the time. You can read on video. Thank you for clarifying. Appreciate it. D dab, dab for the clarification. <laughs> I genuinely wish you the best possible year in 2020. Oh, thank you so much. I hope to see you continue to grow and flourish in everything you do. Please send Maddie and Pips my love. Maddie and I are just friends now, but we're both totally okay and respect each other as human beings. Quick update, sorry about that. Moving on. Don't read my real name, please. I won't. I will call you Sigourney Weaver. Thank you, Sigourney Weaver. I appreciate it. And you did a great job in the movie Alien. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Michael Grant, oh, I've heard that name. Number one best-selling author of the Gone series. BZRK Apocalypse. Berserk Apocalypse. And now someone's gonna comment, read Berserk. I'm, shh, it's an I. Look at the cover, appreciate the cover. The fight to stay sane will drive you Berserk. Thank you very much, Sigourney Weaver. Doesn't matter how to say your real name. I appreciate it. Oh, that's the most taped up box in history of everything. Oh wow, nice letter on the like vanilla paper. Ooh, ooh, okay. Greetings, Daniel. A fan of your channel who wishes to remain anonymous. Understood. Has arranged for me to send you a signed copy of my novel, Dragon Ascending, which you will find enclosed. As a viewer myself, I hope you enjoy the story which has been favorably compared to Robert Jordan's work by more than one reader and reviewer. Wow, thank you so much. This is awesome. Oh, it's got a wax seal. I love wax seals, but I hate breaking them. But I have to, to get it what's enclosed, so. Oh, it didn't break, I just went around it. Well, now I'm happy, okay. 
Oh, that's an awesome cover. That's cool. Check out that dragon or beast of some kind facing down a warrior. So well done. Um, and it is signed. Thank you so much. I. I, that is that that you've appealed to me. It's got a higher place on my TBR. Much appreciated. That popping accidentally just scared the bejesus out of pips. My bad. Side note for everyone out there: bread knives, awesome for open packages. Well, hot, damn. Um, this is so Robert Jordan didn't just write the Wheel of Time in the Conan books. He also wrote these uh, under the pen name Regan O'Neill, and this is an autographed copy. Holy crap! Uh, where he signed it, both Robert Jordan and Reagan O'Neill, which means he held this at some point, and now I'm petting it. I don't, I don't know what else to do. Thank you. This gets put on the special autograph shelf. I wish you had included a note, which I did not see one. I don't think there was one. Yeah, there wasn't one. Um, why is it that when people do like extraordinary things like get me an autographed copy or a leather brown war breaker, they don't stick? How? Thank you. That's, thank you, is what I'll say. Thank you. It's with my other autographed books now. I don't know how to handle what just happened. I appreciate you. And I, uh, the offer still stands for anyone who does something like that to just open a bar together in Bora Bora. And just live out our lives. <laughs> We got our first bomb. <laughs> I got a bomb. <laughs> you win. In terms, well, no, everybody poops in this are like right neck and neck for me. I think it's the blue wire. Hope you know someone who could enjoy this. Maybe I shouldn't sign this. <laughs> a great series. If you already have it, feel free to donate to someone less fortunate than yourself from Mad Hatter. Thank you, Mad Hatter. Wait, The Magic of Recluse from L.E. Modesty Jr. The Sage of Recluse One. Every book you guys send me, I pick up and I'm fascinated by and I want to look into, and then it's like a million more come, and I'm trying to keep them all straight in my head, and it's all becoming a jumbling blob mess of, I'm going insane. But thank you, I much appreciate it, and you're a beautiful person. And I believe you're in the Discord server too, I think. Hey, cat toys for Pips, thank you. Hey, Pips. Wait, what am I, okay. Oh, it's the Iron Druid Chronicles. I think I already have, yeah, this is the second one. Hi Daniel, okay to read this out loud on your channel if you want to. Hope you and your, f who's this? Okay. Hope you and your family had a good holiday. We did, it was quite nice. I went to DC and visited my mom's. It was wonderful. I suggest these books on your recent live show, so I'm sending you copies, plus a little something for Pips. He's already batting it across the room. And, oh God, ripping it, okay. Um, <laughs> the Warded Man is the first book in the Demon Cycle series. Boom, check that out, Demon Cycle. The Lord Man. Ooh, okay. Um, thank you. Look up here. I love your channel. I've picked up quite a few books on your because of your enthusiasm. After you read them, I'm a big Wheel of Time fan. That means I'm a fan of you, uh, and I'm happy you will be bringing more content this year. I think I'm going to follow along with your sci-fi reads this year and give the genre a chance. I've never been a big sci-fi up till now. Yet I love Star Trek. Go figure. Because Star Trek is amazing. I'm also going to start Dresden this year entirely because of your recommendation. That's awesome. You'll be reading it right alongside my dad. He's on book three, I think, of Dresden and loving it. So you're in good company. Thank you so much for these. These are wonderful books. I haven't slapped any books today. There you go. Good slaps. Uh, I needed this. So wonderful. Fantastic. And I haven't heard of this one, but I know you suggested it, so I... Oh, Terry Brooks gave it a shout out. That's nice. Thank you, everybody, so much for Everybody Poops, Nutella, a bomb. This has been a great haul. And, and an autographed Robert Jordan book, which I need to go stare at and salivate over for like an hour. And all the other books, and the mug, everything was... Guys, I still am blown away that you like these videos, that you like me enough to send me these things. I don't feel like I earn it, but hey, I appreciate you all. I love you. Like and subscribe if you have not already. Hit the um, Patreon if you want to support what I do here. And I guess I need to start this whole fan reading segment of the year because it's gonna be a it's gonna be a big one. <laughs>